Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. I want to follow up on that because it bugs me. Uh, I thought it was actually 30 drugs that the CBO estimated would not exist, and plenty of other uh, estimates have much, much higher. We've already seen, we've talked to the industry, we've already seen the dollars drying up from investing in what they would call higher risk investments. That would definitely be Alzheimer's. So what drug companies are gonna do because of this price cap rule, what they're gonna do is they're gonna invest in quote unquote safer investments. So the drug companies will be fine. They'll be fine. You know who won't be fine? Alzheimer's patients who want that cutting edge drug. That is a fact. And you guys can sit there comfortably in your position on this because you know that we can never prove a counterfactual because there's another element of history that we we will never know about. And it's very, very frustrating. Um, but I wanna talk about your budget. So one thing that concerns me, and the, and the chairman mentioned it, is the president's budget mentions climate change 42 times, mentions fentanyl twice. What's the leading cause of death for, for adults age 18 to 45? Congressman, I would mention that while we may have mentioned the word fentanyl, we put $10.9 billion more than I think any administration has to All fight right, that, overdoses. That, that's, I, I appreciate that. I'm not sure what that money's going towards, um, but we it, can it's, it's opioid. I mean, the answer to my question, you didn't answer my question, but it's opioids. I'll just answer it for you. It's opioid overdose, right? Most of that is, is fentanyl. It was about 100,000 people or more to opioid <laughs> overdose. Almost 80,000 of that's fentanyl directly related. Um, you can't even compare that kind of number to climate change. Not even close. I mean, if we want to actually compare, I mean, let me ask you actually, I mean, is, is HHS in charge of regulating carbon emissions? Am I missing something here? Why, why do you guys have an Office of Climate Change and Health Equity funded in this budget? Uh, Congressman, I think it's a proven fact that the impacts of climate change are affecting the health of Americans and people around the world. How have you quantified that? I, excuse me? How have you quantified that? I can get you some of the research that's been done. I can show you some of the communities that have been affected. Uh, we can do any number of ways to quantify it. Uh, you, you can let me know. I have a way of quantifying it here. I'll, I'll help you out. So in the last, since 1900, deaths from, due to nature, have plummeted by over 90%. It's actually plummeted over 70% just since Biden took office. So whether it accounts for somewhere around 0.07% of worldwide deaths, 0.01% in the United States. Um, and that's with the, by the way, with the population increasing like tenfold. So there's a, there's a completely negative correlation there and we're pretending like it's a crisis and we're scaring people to death about it. And you're telling hospitals that they, they should be going to net zero. Of all of the locations in America that I would want to have reliable energy sources because people are on life support, I think hospitals would be one of them, right? And if hospitals go to net zero emissions, what kind of effect is that gonna have on our temperature in 100 years? Hospitals, one of the major, well, the healthcare sector is one of the major contributors to uh, pollution in the, in the world. What? Well, how, did you, how do you quantify that? We can get you the information that shows that the healthcare sector, because of its production of uh, lots of different, and uses of lots of different chemicals, of uh, the fact that it's a very widespread industry, yeah. Uh, it does have a major impact on the climate. So you're just going to get rid of these chemicals? Why don't we get rid of plastics, too, the plastics that are used for medical devices that save people's lives? Is that a good idea? I think most people would say to you that where there is a use for plastics, but we don't have to have so much plastic in the world that it's causing major degradation of our environment. What, what you're saying is terrifying. What you're saying will harm people. I mean, High-quality plastics are used in an extraordinary way for, for cutting-edge medical devices. They're used in everything in a hospital. And what, what percentage do you think our healthcare sector contributes to overall carbon emissions? What, so what you said it was significant. Be, you said it's one of the most significant. So what's the percentage? Do you have a ballpark? Of the industry that, of the sector? Yeah, you just said the healthcare industry is one of the biggest contributors to carbon emissions. So do you have a ballpark percentage of what that might be? I don't have it in front of me, but I can get you that information. I think it's probably less than a percentage point. I mean, I've, I've, I see these numbers all the time, especially on this committee. Transportation's a big one, right? Power production's a big one. The healthcare sector is a big one. That's what you're saying? The healthcare sector is a big one. How I, much money are you guys wanting to spend on this in your budget? Spend on what? On, on this office. Uh, it's a, a small fraction of the entire budget. Uh-huh. I can tell you the exact amount if you give me time in, to look through the book. I only have seven seconds, but thank you. I yield back. 
The gentleman yells back, seeing no one on the Democrat side. The chair recognizes Dr. Dunn for five minutes for questions. Thank you very much, 